This is a Volvo V70 2005 and we've just had a soot filter full warning come up on the dashboard. Um, I only drive it around town locally so it doesn't really get a good blast on the motorway very often so um, I'm not surprised really that the um, diesel particulate filter uh, is, is probably blocked up. So uh, the Volvo instructions for this are go out for a a long drive uh, about 20 minutes keeping the engine above 2000 rpm and travel at a steady 50 to 70 miles an hour but before doing that i thought i'd have a look at what voltage was coming out of the differential pressure sensor um, so that we can see what sort of figure we get at different rpm before we go on the drive and then when the filter's cleared uh, get home and measure it again and see what the difference is so i'm going to look at the voltage out of the differential pressure sensor which according to the internet um, the range of pressures that it measures is between 10 kilopascals and 70 kilopascals and uh, below 10 kilopascals it gives out about one volt on the signal wire and then as you go from 10 to 70 kilopascals it rises to a maximum of about 4.202 volts so between one and four volts really um, now I'm just going to check that. I'm not sure if this is the correct information, but we'll see. I've had a look at the wiring diagram and 7174 is the differential pressure sensor. And uh, I found those um, connections, five volts to pin one, signal on pin two and ground on pin three. So I'm going to check whether those are correct or not. And uh, the wiring from the differential pressure sensor goes straight into the ECM. And uh, the ECM actually lives uh, underneath the airbox cover on this car, I think. Might be wrong there. Yep, in fact, that just lifts off. And there you can see the two large connectors come into the side of the ECM here. And they go off into the loom. Now, I'm just going to try and find the differential press sensor. I think I found it from earlier. Uh, on this car, it's not very easy to see. It's basically below this engine stay. So let's see if I can get a bit of light on the subject. Right, so I'll try and put some sort of marker on this afterwards, but basically two metal pipes rise upwards towards the differential pressure sensor and they go into two vertical rubber pipes and then into the centre itself. And I just tried to point at it with a screwdriver. But basically where you see, where you see, you don't see. I see bug all, that's what they say. <laughs> so because the sensor's so hidden away at the back there, uh, I followed its cable entering the loom. The loom comes round here on the way into the ECU, I think. It appears so, anyway. Um, and I've located the, the wires there, I think. Looking at the diagram, there's this loop here showing that they're twisted together, I think. And that's white, brown and grey. And those are the three that I've identif identified in a loom. So I'm going to make a measurement between the grey and the brown and see if we get any signal. So with ignition on, I've just measured the voltages on each of those three wires and I've measured them with regard to the chassis of the car because I'm currently charging the battery. And these are the voltages I got. So chassis to the white wire, I got about half a volt, so I'm calling that the signal. Chassis to the grey, I saw 4.98 volts, so I'm calling that the 5 volt supply to the sensor. And chassis to brown, I got 0.014 volts, which I'm calling 0 volts, and I'm saying that's the chassis. So actually, our signal is on the grey wire. So my earlier drawing is incorrect. So I've got my multimeter negative in the brown wire, and my multimeter positive in the white wire. And with the engine not running, I'm seeing about 0.5 volts. So I'm going to go and start the engine and see what we see. So I've corrected my drawing with those 
um, new signals that I've measured. And with my helpful team assistant a few minutes ago, um, I measured the voltages on the signal wire, uh, which is the white wire. And those are the voltages I get uh, at idle and up to 3000 RPM. So I'll take the car for a drive once the battery's fully charged and we'll come back when the soot filter full indication is gone and we'll repeat those measurements and see what we get. Planning to go out there and do my drive. I've connected up some uh, wires into the passenger compartment so that I can monitor the voltage on the differential pressure sensor while I'm driving. So I've got my signal, the white wire, and I've got my ground, the brown wire. And I have taped those around the vehicle into the passenger compartment where you'll see in a minute I've got a multimeter next to the gear change. So at the moment I'm showing no message on the dash but I assume that's because the engine's not running and I've got the multimeter next to me and that shows get the shade off get the reflection off that shows half a volt so I'm going to go for a little run see what happens I don't know if the battery's fully charged yet uh, there we go okay so on idle we got 0.53 of a volt which, which agrees with what we measured in the engine compartment. So we're going to go out and see if that changes on load. Oh, I forgot to mention, I've got uh, a scanner, the VOD 700 from Ansel, and we're going to see what that tells us. So I've selected for Volvo, you can get these for BMW and VW, I think. Identify the vehicle, just say do that. So I've selected diesel engine, okay and then we're on to the functions so i'm going to go for special functions okay it's communicating Let's see what it says okay so we've got uh, combustion of soot particles which is what we're going to look at and also also we've got adaption of differential pressure sensor so if you're going to change that that'll be the next menu item down so proceed with caution, yeah. Okay, so that basically says, have a look at the mechanicals, check they're all right. And it's showing 22.36 grams of soot in the particulate filter and seven HPA for the uh, differential pressure. So I can move that up to a thousand RPM. Difficult to stabilize it. Still showing seven. Okay, so that's a, that's a value that's stored in memory. So we just OK that. Um, I don't, I'm not sure what that is, so I'm going to escape out of that and we'll go for a drive. Also, we set the rear envelope and the impact on the US and global economy. America supports London Day with Donald Trump on Radio 4 and BBC Sounds next Monday to Friday lunchtime at 1.45. OK, so I've just stopped in the service station to share my findings of that uh, that journey. So at the start we had, when we were idle, we had 500, 526 millivolts showing on the uh, just multimeter there. And I went on a fairly clear motorway, put the cruise control on, um, uh, set to 70 miles an hour, which is 2000 RPM, and I used uh, six gear, six gear. And if I let the engine just run under cruise, depending on whether we we're on the flat, going uphill or downhill, uh, the range of voltages that I saw was between 700 millivolts and 900 millivolts and I found a reasonable test for how blocked the DPF was was to just floor it in sixth and when I did that uh, the voltage went up to about 1500 millivolts so after about 15 minutes of cruising uh, the uh, cruise voltage was about 650 to 700 so there's been a slight reduction in the cruise voltage um, but at full throttle I was only seeing about a thousand millivolts so that's a drop of 30 percent so I th I think that's probably um, a reasonable measure of, of how good you're going to get basically now unfortunately my battery went flat so I lost the indication on the display for soot filter full before I departed so I can't be absolutely certain when the car was was basically happy that the DPF was regenerated um, but there's there's the there's my kind of conclusion. I, I'm not sure if it's going to get better than a thousand millivolts um, full throttle in a, in a pretty high gear because that obviously puts gives the most um, differential 
pressure across the DPF. So uh, those are my findings. So at the end of the journey, we're just having a look at the readings uh, of the amount of soot in the filter. I think it was 22 grams before and 7 HPA. And we're down to three grams and one HPA. But if they're any different than that, I'll, I'll put them on put the original figures on the screen.